we're starting to see more and more that there's a disparity between children of color and their white counterparts, specifically within the African American population. What we found in uh, approximately 145 uh, participants is that with the BMI, um, we did the height and weight and imported this information to um, a CDC website um, program and we obtained their BMI and then we also did skin fold caliber measurements with this population in addition to waist circumference and we found that all three measures of obesity or weight related status were significantly correlated and so we were able to say that if a child was overweight with BMI we did see that they were also um, had a high body fat content um, and also maybe even a um, wider waist circumference. The question is, how do I apply this to everyday life? I'm in the clinic with these patients. What, how, does, how does this matter for me? And so we found that while BMI is the standard in terms of diagnosing obesity, you could also utilize waist circumference as well as skin fold measurement to supplement that and enhance your screening so that you can also use that information to help educate um, the families and the patients regarding their obesity status. What's very important is how we as practitioners communicate uh, this information to our patients and to our parents, making sure that um, it's very culturally sensitive, and it's developmentally appropriate, and that it's tailored to their individual needs. Really looking at you know what's going on within the family context, looking at what's going on culturally, knowing that there is an association you know with higher uh, you know body uh, weight statuses, and that type of thing is going to be very important in how we communicate to our patients to make sure that they are not offended, to make sure that they're really able to take this information and be able to utilize it to the best of their abilities.